There we go. There's a fish. That's it, guys. Let's get him up here. This is going to be the first fish of 2023. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the channel. And for those of you that are new here to the Cameraman Ron channel, welcome. Today, we are back in Pensacola, Florida, and it is the new year, y'all. We are officially in 2023. It is January 1st. Came out to do a little bit of fishing this morning because, hey, let's be honest, you cannot fish every day of the year if you don't fish on day one. So that's what we're out here doing today. We're gonna go out and we're gonna try to target a sheep's head or two just to see if maybe they're hanging out on some of these bridge pilings. It's a little bit windy today, but I don't think it's too windy to be able to get around to where we wanna go. So we're gonna strap on a couple fiddler crabs, drop them down by some of these pilings and just see what we can get ourselves into. Let's go. Now the trick to this spot is trying to get in position because with this channel being the way it is, you got super shallow water on either side of this channel right through here. So it's just tough to get a boat to hold exactly where you want it because the wind's coming out of the north right now, which is not ideal. Um, better than an east wind, but not ideal. But we are on an incoming tide. So the current's pushing in, wind's pushing out. So that tends to wreak a little bit of havoc on the boat. But I think we can get it settled, get up here, get one of these fiddler crabs down the water and catch the fish or two. Right, guys we're already fishing on right here that did not take long at all folks that did not take long at all right there let's see what we got oh yeah nice little black drum oh he came off he came off right there that was a little black drum little puppy drum which we can eat and the cool thing about puppy drums is they actually look very very similar to sheep's head even though they are not but when they're young like that they do have that that little uh, stripe there on the side of them. So that's a good sign. He went right in there after that fiddler crab. So we can get another one of those. We'll try to get him in the boat. I put a little too much pressure on him. guys we are at spot like 1992 on the day <laughs> the only thing we've caught so far we didn't even really catch it we hooked that that nice black drum this morning um there at the bridge but uh it's been a day i i have exhausted a lot of spots today so um still bouncing around to some of these bay spots which i know they hold fish so um that's that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna continue fishing until we put something in the boat today y'all Got to get something in the boat today. Who knew catching the first fish of the new year was gonna prove to be this difficult? But then again, all the fish I catch, it seems like it's difficult. I don't feel like I ever, uh-oh, uh-oh, are we finally gonna catch one? That was a nice little bite right there, guys. Did he get my bait? It was a nice bite. He might've got my bait right there. I'm afraid that's what happened. No, it's still there. Uh oh oh gosh guys hey at least we're getting bit that's that's more than what we've been doing all day so i'm not mad at least we're getting bit oh, pretty sure he got my bait that time i'm sure what i'm the first fish of 2023 has to be a snapper right like there's no other option except for this thing to be a snapper whether it be a red snapper or a mangrove snapper I mean, because that's just the epitome of what my 2022 was. It was just a whole lot of snappers in the boat with some other stuff mixed in here and there, but definitely caught our, our fair share of snappers. There we go. There's a fish. That's it, guys. Let's get him up here. This is going to be the first fish of 2023. If we can land it and get him in the boat, definitely fighting like a snapper, unfortunately and not a real big one either but hey this is gonna no matter what this is gonna be the no 
No freaking way. Are you kidding me? Guys, that's awesome. That's a trigger fish. Are you kidding me right now? That is freaking sweet. This is only the second trigger fish I have ever caught, ever. And I caught it in the bay. Are you kidding me? And these might be in season right now. I gotta check to see. Let's hang tight for just a second. All right, so he is about 13 inches. We gotta look and see if he's legal. Come on, please be in season. All right, y'all, so season is open on these guys. He is not legal. They do have to be 15 inches in order to keep them, but y'all check this out. So I can't remember what it is, but one of these things like, yeah, that. So if you try to push this down, you cannot push this down. I don't care how hard you try, but if you grab it right here and pull it, that's why they call these trigger fish. But unfortunately this dude is not legal size. He's gotta be at least 15 inches. So we're gonna drop this dude back in the water and try to catch another one. That is an awesome catch to start 2023 y'all let's freaking go i wish you were legal buddy but you're not see you man yes that's an awesome catch y'all you have no idea how stoked i am to catch that fish right there that is awesome that was a super cool catch y'all like i want to catch more fish but even if i don't catch another fish today that was awesome be like i said mainly because um it's only the second one i've ever caught i caught one out at three bar just one day um and uh that was that was just a cool catch for that's definitely my first one inside the bay um never never caught one in the bay for sure but what a cool catch out here after what has been kind of a a strange day of fishing to be honest had a couple bites of the bridge this morning didn't end up landing anything but now i feel like maybe we'll get on a roll it would be so cool to catch a keeper trigger fish and take him home and do a catch and cook on him for reels but all we can do is put another crab down there and see All right, we're fish on again, guys. A little bit smaller fish. If it's another trigger fish, not gonna be a keeper for sure. No, and that is back to what I thought that was gonna be the first go around. That's just a whole American red snapper right there. But second species on the year. I, I talked to Sarah about this and it's something I really wanna try to do and I don't know if it's feasible or not but i want to keep up with how many different species of fish we catch this year because i just think that'd be a lot of fun just to uh just to have that no flippers out here going crazy but just to see how many we caught so right now we're up to two we have caught a trigger fish and we've caught an american red snapper let's go Guys, if you are new here to the Cameraman Ron channel, we got some pretty big goals for 2023. So we would love it if you'd take a minute and subscribe to the channel. This is the kind of stuff to do we do. We fish, we camp, we travel. We do all kinds of outdoor stuff. Pretty much lots of water, lots of green grass. So if that's something you're into, we would love it if you consider smashing that subscribe button. 2023 style. Now, if you're not an OG to the channel, you might not get that joke, but uh, all the OGs, they know what's up. What are you doing, man? You're like, you're disrupting the fishing, dude. You just, you coming to say hi this morning or what's up? You gonna come out and say, there you go. I figured you'd come out and say hi. Uh, that might be half tail. I can't, he hasn't gotten close enough. We do have a famous dolphin here in Pensacola called half tail. Some people consider him a nuisance. Some people love him. It really just kind of depends, but he, he does have a half a tail. That's where he got his name at. Um, and he is relatively famous here in our area because he will literally come up and like lay his nose on the side of your boat trying to get you to feed him and that's just unfortunately that's a product of too many people um, feeding him along the line there's definitely been some people out here who have fed him um, and he is 
he's not a docile dolphin, but he is borderline um, to being what would be considered a docile dolphin because he's been fed so much that he just kind of expects it from people. Um, so he will literally come up and like lay his nose on the side of your boat, which is a huge danger to him. Um, if, you know, if there's poachers or somebody does something crazy, I mean, it's just, you never know. So there's another bite right there, guys. Needless to say, today was a struggle. Like for real, it was a struggle. I probably fished for, I'm gonna guess, close to seven hours today uh, i was gone the better part of the day i got on the water about 7 30 and it was well into the afternoon when i got off so it just was not really happening today out there i did catch a couple fish caught that trigger fish which was really really cool so i'm not mad about it whatsoever it ended up being a fun day on the water just didn't catch a lot of fish and the one thing i did not have was live shrimp everybody was out of live shrimp so it was kind of the flip effect because everybody's been being out of fiddler crabs well today they were out of live shrimp and had fiddler crabs so this is one of those deals where we caught some fish but not anything extravagant but before we go i do want to talk to you guys about something brand new that we're doing this year that i think you guys are going to be excited about you guys heard me mention in the video that i really want to start tracking the species of fish that we catch in a year just to see how many different species we catch and i figured out a really easy way to do that we're just going to run that through the cameraman ron website which i've got linked down in the description box below but that got me thinking like how can i get you guys involved and what we're doing on a daily basis all the time so i thought you know what i have the perfect idea through partnerships and different things we have accumulated so much stuff shirts hats that's never been worn tackle rods and reels so we are going to start the monthly cmr swag bag now we're not trying to sell you anything i don't want to make it sound like this is has nothing to do with selling you anything if you go to the contest tab on the cameraman ron website there's going to be a place there for you to enter your email your name and your address all we're doing is once a month we're going to go in we're going to pick a name out of that list and we're going to send you a swag bag of stuff might have tackle might have a rod and reel might have a shirt might have a hat i don't know what it's going to have we got so much stuff laying around here it is insane but we want to give back to you guys now there's no purchase necessary we're not trying to sell you anything this is not a monthly subscription box nothing like that it's just something each month we're going to go in we're going to draw a winner now the cool thing is once you sign up you're signed up for the whole year now you can't repeat win we will keep a, a list of the winners that's won and if you've already won one sometime throughout the course of 2023 you're not going to be eligible to win another one but you don't have to go in and sign up each and every month once you sign up one time on that site that's going to put you on that list we're going to draw from that list each and every month and then each and every month one of you is going to get something sent out to you we don't know what's going to be in there i don't know who all is going to be involved what's going to be involved it, it'll start off kind of light but you never know some of the partners might get involved we might end up sending out something pretty cool like we did for the 20,000 subscriber giveaway but uh that's gonna be fun so make sure y'all go in and sign up for that i do have a link in the description box below of exactly how to get there and just so you guys know before we go i am still thoroughly worried about phil i, I don't think phil is going to survive the the freeze we still got a little bit of green so if any of you guys have any suggestions on how to bring phil back to life please leave a comment down below and let us know because we're worried about our our little buddy phil he don't look like he's gonna make it guys that's all i got for you on this one i truly hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you had a merry christmas hope you had a safe new year and guys big things in 2023 make sure that you find a reason to make somebody smile around you each and every day you never know who needs it we'll see y'all on the next one y'all take care and we'll see you soon